Transthyretin amyloidosis, or ATTR amyloidosis, is a condition that progressively damages the heart and affects how organs work. There are different types of amyloidosis, and they all occur from a buildup of misfolded proteins called amyloid deposits. These proteins clump together in organs, nerves, and tissues, interfering with their function. Amyloidosis is a systemic disease, meaning it impacts many systems in the body. When the disease primarily affects the heart, it is called transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy, or ATTRCM for short. In ATTRCM, large clumps of amyloid build up in the heart, causing symptoms including irregular heartbeat, fatigue, swelling, and shortness of breath. When the disease affects the nervous system, it is called polyneuropathy in hereditary transthyretin amyloid, or ATTRVPN for short. In this case, amyloids surround the peripheral nerves, which are the nerves outside the brain and spinal cord. This can cause loss of sensation, tingling, and numbness throughout the body. It can also cause autonomic neuropathy, which is a group of symptoms that occur when there is damage to nerves that manage bodily function. Symptoms include changes in blood pressure or gastrointestinal issues. There are over 125 genetic variants, which are changes in a person's DNA that can cause ATTR amyloidosis. Most symptoms typically do not appear until adulthood and can vary based on the specific cause of the condition. Here to explain more is Dr. Lorena Salises. Some ATTR conditions are caused by changes in the TTR gene leading to the gene not producing TTR proteins that help our body work properly. These changes in the TTR gene can lead to hereditary amyloidosis, meaning it can be passed along from a parent to offspring. But even without a change to the gene, aging can cause the TTR protein to become altered. This is called wild-type ATTR amyloidosis. There are gene therapies currently being researched in clinical trials to treat ATTR amyloidosis, and some have already been approved. Currently approved approaches aim to reduce the formation of new buildup of amyloid in the body by limiting a cell's production of the TTR protein in the liver with the goal of slowing down or getting rid of symptoms associated with the condition. Another approach that is being researched utilizes gene editing with CRISPR-Cas9 to deliver genetic material that can directly edit pieces of DNA within a cell. Gene editing is a type of gene therapy that corrects pieces of DNA by changing or deleting the information within the gene. CRISPR-Cas9 is made of two components, a small piece of modified RNA called guide RNA and a protein. The guide RNA locates the TTR gene, and the protein makes the edit to remove the TTR gene entirely from the DNA sequence. This is done in vivo, which means the genetic material is delivered into the body through an injection. A viral vector may be used to deliver this therapy to the cells. Scientists know that viruses are good at getting into cells, so they have learned how to remove the harmful parts of the virus and safely deliver the genetic material. One approved approach, known as gene expression modifiers, uses gene silencers to target a gene's messenger RNA to prevent production of unwanted proteins. This approach helps stop the liver from making the TTR protein that was causing the harmful amyloid deposits. Researchers continue to work on developing safe and effective gene therapies that can help individuals living with ATTR amyloidosis. For more information about gene therapy for ATTR amyloidosis, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.